Hello guys! I'm going to show you really quick how to make a clay pout pout fish. We've been reading the story, The Pout Pout Fish by Deborah Dyson. And today we're going to be making pinch pot fishes. Ooh! So you'll be getting a small ball of clay. And what we're going to want to do is pull off some pieces of clay that we're going to want to save for later. To use for our different pieces for the fish. And what we're going to do with the large piece is we are rolling it into as round of a shape as we can get. It does not have to be a perfect ball. And once you smooth out most of the lumps, what we're going to do is you're going to take your thumb, you're going to press in, and notice we're not going all the way through because we're not making a donut. And now my thumb is still inside, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch and turn pinch and turn, pinch and turn, pinch and turn. And this is going to help make the walls of my pot a little less thick. Okay, you can use your fingers to smooth it out. Our clay is nice and moist. After we do that, the pot is going to turn into the mouth of our fish. And so, pow pow can be sad or you could do at the end of the book where he was kissy and happy. I'm going to do the sad fish. And so what I want to do at the top here is I need to make a spot to put Pout Pout's eyes. And so I'm taking my extra piece of clay, rolling them up to make two eyeballs about the same size. I can take a little extra off there. Okay. And in order to attach them, we need to scratch 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 that clay this is going to help make the clay stick and stay together more permanently all right so after we do that we put the two scratch sides together and we're going to twist and push really trying to make that stick on twist and push okay and so we have Pout Pout's very sad mouth, and we have his eyes. We want to add some details to those eyes, and so I can press and kind of wiggle in to give him his pupil. Very good. All right, I could use this to add some of those famous polka dots. Pout Pout Fish has purple polka dots. All right, so I can add a couple details. But before I get too crazy with the details, we need fins and a tail. So just really quick, I'm gonna take two small pieces of clay, kind of mush them flat, because when Pout Pout is sad, his fins are droopy. So same deal, scratch, scratch, scratch. I'm going to press, and I'm gonna kind of blend. There, he's got one fin. You don't want to go too thin, otherwise it's going to break. All right, other side. Scratch, scratch, scratch. I'm going to press it on and kind of smooth it out so it looks like it's part of his body. All right, and then I can add some details, lines with my stick. And then we're going to make his tail really quick. So rolling together. Let's see, I want to split this almost like the letter Y. Look at that. Okay. And then I will do the same steps where I scratch and attach it on. I'm kind of pushing to make a nice flat space. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Finding a spot on the back. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Twisting, pressing, smoothing. I'm going to try to make that seam disappear, especially for a big attachment like this, like the tail. Don't want that tail to fall off later. All right, and then after that, you can position it. You can draw some lines. Pout Pout has a striped tail. Okay. And there's our fish. You want to make sure you can get inside his very sad mouth. <laughs> and that is our Pout Pout fish. Thanks for watching.